a good question. Um, I was doing a bit of cryptographic research and I was always interested in finance. Uh, and so I read the white paper. I thought it was kind of an intriguing concept, but initially I didn't uh, really take Bitcoin very seriously. Then I started thinking about uh, other applications like identity management, decentralized DNS, and on a whiteboard I was able to design an entire revocation scheme for a credential and just a single whiteboard. And I, then I realized, wow, this is a really cool concept. So my problem was that I was a little late to the game. This was about 2012, 2013, and I didn't know anybody. So I remembered what an old professor told me, which was those who cannot do teach. So I created the first MOOC on Bitcoin. It was Bitcoin or how I learned to stop worrying and love crypto. It took me only a week to do. I released it and I assumed, oh, I'll have like 500 students or something. Now I have about 60,000 students and I personally got about 5,000 emails and I answered every single one of them, uh, which was a great opportunity to get to meet people and also learn about the space. What output? So I've done three companies in the space. The first was Invictus Innovations, and we founded in uh, uh, Blacksburg, Virginia, and that came off of what we were doing with uh, the MOOC. So I asked my students, what are the big problems in cryptocurrency? And I kind of got a bimodal distribution. As some students said, hey, uh, this uh, value stable currencies are a great idea. We need Bitcoin to look like the US dollar or the euro in terms of uh, value. Then another group said decentralized exchange. And so we tried to do a project with both. And we released BitShares. And that was a great product and we had a lot of fun. After that, I did another project. Uh, and that's the one I'm usually known for, which is Ethereum. And Ethereum was all about adding a programming language to a blockchain. We like saying it's like when JavaScript came to the web browser. It opened up all of these new amazing applications. But both of those were really companies built around particular projects. So after, uh, after doing that for a while, I wanted to create a company where we created cryptocurrencies for a living. Uh, so uh, true to my academic roots, I also wanted to create a research company. So we formed Input Output Hong Kong, Jeremy Wood and I, back in 2015. And we have both a service division and a research division. The service division constructs cryptocurrencies for clients. And the research division does foundational research into the science of cryptocurrencies.